holding on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's good, peeps? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor Channel. Today we're doing an unbox of a little, little mighty guy named Me One. Um, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few more videos. I, I realize that I haven't been doing some videos that are kind of my passion, which is to help fellow, uh, fellow ex-smokers, or if you are a smoker and you would like to step down responsibly off tobacco products and, and get into a safer way of getting your nicotine uh, into your system, a new entryway to get into your system and to get, get you off all that carcinogens and stuff uh, that you might have in tobacco. Well, I'm doing a little bit of a lineup on videos for that, as well as I'll continue my other ones. But I wanted to go ahead and get some videos done for people that don't really know how, who, when, where, why uh, to get into the vaping instead of trying to do all the gum and patches and step you down responsibly. So I'm going to be doing some videos on some machines that will get you in, and some entry machines that will get you in but not break your pocketbook. Now check it out. Down below you're going to see that way uh, a little banner down there. Uh, AAA Straight Vapes, they got two locations here in the 254 in Belton and in Killeen. Uh, let them know that uh, the Juicy Vapors sent you. So let's dive right in so I could share this lovely magic with you. Yes, yes. All right, so check it out. We've got, yeah, let's put it up on that one. This little kind of tie-dye seashell. Uh, all-in-one little tiny mod which is pretty kind of cool um, there's also up top there you'll see the uh, fill port for your tank it's all in one the tank is included up there you've got your fire button we're gonna come back to those two things in a second uh, I'm also gonna put the tech specs down below so that we keep it cool and keep it light keep it fresh and funky yeah vape it in man <laughs> I'm having fun today. Too much caffeine. All right. So we're going to get back to those things, uh, as well as the fill line on the tank. Uh, there's a max line. Again, we'll come back to that in a minute once we circle back around and put everything together. All right. So in the box, we obviously have your all-in-one little mod and all that stuff tank there. Um, and I know you can see the camera over here. Everything's down over here, and I'm going to push things over here. We've got your little drip tip kind of your all-in-one comes down from the top your drip tip fills into that hole right there uh, your your uh, coil man I'm losing it the coil is going to go down under here uh, also up top again as I said your your drip tip there's also your airflow holes let me look at it here um, you're going to see some little dots up there and there's a little line Basically, the bigger the dot, the more the airflow. Pretty easy. And we'll come back to that here in a second, too, once we assemble everything together. We've got a lanyard. Kind of a little different from other lanyards that I've seen, but hey, you know. And by the way, guys, this little unit, under 50 bucks. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, and I want to go back to AAA straight vapes, and I want to say this real seriously. Uh, these folks here... In the area code 254, uh, if I had had a shop like the, this and employees like this that can really cared and had concern about fitting you into the right type of machine, taking their time and answering all the questions to better tailor a solution to stepping you down in your process the right way, man life would have been different so if you've gone back into the dollar store and all that and you've looked to see those little little uh, vape pens those little blues or the, the little ego sticks don't bother with it I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you um, that's how I kinda had to start and I'm lucky I had the tenacity to keep going with it uh, but you don't have to do that just keep 
here we go. Let's just keep moving right along. All I'm saying is their numbers down below. They're great. I promise you they have your best interest in heart because they appreciate their customers. So that's why that banner is down there. And let's keep right on plugging. All right. So this is kind of real funky cool. It's really flat too. This is a little USB charger, but I've never seen one that flat. Funky. All right. You have your uh, user manual right there. And I think we got everything right. All right. Well, let's assemble this little Mi 1. But before I do, I have a little something I want to do. We're going to be using some of this juice in here. Poly. The one that I'm opening. Tropical blend of lemon lime. Mmm. 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 Yes. By the way, they carry this also down there at uh, AAA Straight Vape. Oh, ooh, it's going to be good, I swear. Man. All right, so here's what we're going to do. This little stem right here that I showed you, uh, you have 2.6 sub-ohm tanks. All right, let's see, where are we going with this? All right, so I think these are, what, mouth-to-lung hitters? Um, so we're going to put that down below on that stem. All right. This is what's going to sit down. Now let's see if I can just keep it over here. This is what's going to sit down into that tank. All right. Now, when you put your coil on, uh, what you want to do is just get it to hand tight, and then you don't want to yank it down or nothing, but just give a like a little extra quarter turn, but with your hand, because once it heats up and all that good stuff, it's going to expand and come on down. So if you put it any tighter than that you run the uh, chance of either ruining this, stripping this, and you don't want to do that. Promise. Trust me, I've done it. Okay. So, uh, we're going to put our juice in here. And again, you heard me mention just a little bit ago that we had a fill line on there. You can see it right about there. All right. I've been working on better angles with my cameras so that... Uh, I could get things shown to you better. Hope it's paying off. Now make sure you're paying attention to that little line because it fills up real quick. Each one of these tinctures approximately, I've, I've actually had so much boredom time on my hand that uh, while they do not have the, uh, the measuring on the side, each one if you fill it to three-fourths of the way up or a little bit more off a 30 mil uh, tank, those little tinctures, are about one mil. Um, and I think this is what, three, three to five point five mil? Again, I'll put the tech specs down below. Uh, that'll just make it easier for you. And that way we can stick to what's important. Should have worn my glasses. All right. All right, one more, dude. One more. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. All right. I'm going to do one other little thing here. I'm going to take this little coil right back off. And it has some little notches in there. No, I'm not going to do that with this one. Normally, some of the other bigger uh, coils, they'll have, you can have, you can see some of the cotton. Here, I'll show you. Here's from one of my bigger tanks and you can see the cotton so sometimes you take the tincture and just moisten that cotton so that you avoid the uh, dry hits because nobody likes dry hits all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this down in here by the way I think I mentioned it but in case I didn't there's three little or some several little dots up there and by the way yeah I told you under 50 bucks there it is under fifty dollars all right, so you'll see some, uh, there we go, some, some holes right there. The larger the little dot, that means more airflow. And you'll see that it'll have a little mark up top just to make sure you line it up right. Um, you kind of got to push down to screw it down. Okay, there we go. I think I'm good. Now let me line that up. All right. 
pay attention to that because when you're grabbing from up top and all that, you might, you know, you might be wondering, well, how come I, I set it on that good airflow and all of a sudden nothing? It's because it ice cream. <laughs> uh, okay, it's because this turns real easily. So you want to pay attention to that right there. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and put that drip tip on. Oh, I think I was saying something like this has all the standard kind of uh, features as far as security and all that go and how to turn it on and off. To turn it on and off, there's a fire button right up here. I think I'll use this camera for that one. So we're going to press it five times, turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so if that is, I'll press the button, you can see it's green. All right, that means it's got the battery, which is an 1100 Ma battery milliamp hours. Uh, so, um, yeah, so right there, if it's green, that means it's got a good full battery. I think if it's yellow, that means you're, you're midway through there. And then if it turns red, you need to charge it. Now, I will say that as the power wanes, the strength of the, 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 uh, the inhale will change a little bit. Um, so, but I don't want anybody out there to think they got to keep this on a charge all the time. It's, pa it's, uh, important that the battery cycle through. You don't want, uh, you know, m memory, uh, playing a tricks on your battery. It's, it's good that you let it wane down and then charge it up because otherwise you could put some imprint memories on batteries that might sound foolish, but it's true. Uh, so, all right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take a few. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and inhale a little bit and suck that uh, juice through the coil and that will help to avoid dry hits. Trust me, take the extra two minutes. Okay, also that means I need to adjust. Alright, I guess that does it. So we've got it on, and let me just give it about one more minute. I'm pretty OCD about uh, making sure that the coils and the, and the wicks get moistened up, because uh, I really just do not like dry firing anything. So, all right, let's go for it. Ah, and you can actually taste the flavor on that. It's not bad. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, this is definitely something if you are a first timer um, moving into moving into this kind of a, a rig, as I like to say, I call it a rig. It's basically the hookup, the unit. Um, not bad, you know, not bad at all. There, you know, it is what it is, but if you're looking for a place to start, that's it. It really... And I could chuck a tiny little poof. poof. Um, you know what, that's not too bad. By the way, on the other side of this, there is where the USB hookup is. I think you can now see the max line right there I'm just under it alright and then again I have that airflow up top there right over there drip tip is down all you do to le uh, loosen this up and take it off that little air hole thing is just press it down and then twist to tighten uh, you know and then the other way to to loosen um, you know what this is this is really this is really <laughs> It's cute. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, I'm not unhappy though. With uh, if I was to go back in time, I, they didn't have this kind of stuff back then. They had these little. They were just starting with little more powerful versions of these little egos with the wicks that hung down, and you had to defy gravity to get the juice up, and uh, you could run through coil after coil after coil on those things.
Mmm. Not bad. Uh, by the way, they uh, one of the features on here is if uh, you press that down for too long, it has a, a shut off, and that's just so that uh, it's for your protection, and it also helps to keep the uh, rig cool. Um, you want to make sure that you keep it cool. Don't let it heat up uh, too much. So if you're a person, again, I'm going to say this, if you're a person um, who is... Uh, trying to get off cigarettes and you need to know how to separate or cigars whatever you need to know how to step down on your nicotine levels responsibly so you don't get all the uh, yeah so if you don't have all that um, I urge you urge you urge you uh, this is really cool you let's put it over there really really cool uh, get down to AAA uh, straight vapes and they have two locations Colleen and belting the numbers down below in my banner section. I will put the tech specs down below and I better twist that back on because I have a bad habit of spilling. Um, get on down there guys. Get on down there. Uh, you know they have a lot more than just this. This is just something I'm sampling and putting it out there uh, and reviewing. But get on down there. You're going to find somebody the minute you walk in they're going to acknowledge you uh, you know, and they're going to help you to to get where you to want to go to your desired success that you see. Um, so get on down there. Hey, hey, this is the juicy vapor coming back to you. And uh, if there's something else that you want to see, uh, something else you want me to review, please down below put it in the comments. Um, and I'm going to do my best to do that. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe. I can not talking right please like and subscribe and uh, tell everybody you know and appreciate you let's get on out of here in our typical fashion huh what do you say later on a cigarette He's in disguise deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark